Welcome back, everybody. My name is Nicholas Bograff Gansel, and I am creatively bankrupt. So today we are diving into episode three of Police Squad. Um, I thought the first two episodes were very funny. I found it interesting that in the second episode, they didn't just parody the genre of police procedural, but also of boxing and gangster movies. The title for episode three is The Butler Did It and or A Bird in the Hand, depending on which title you go by. Um, based on that, I think it's going to be a murder mystery, but not like a police procedural murder mystery, like a... I suppose you're all wondering why I've invited you here tonight. You know, like the, the Thin Man kind of murder mystery or like a Clue murder mystery or Knives Out. You know, like a, like a dinner party murder mystery kind of thing. Um, I could be wrong, but that's my prediction. And I really fucking hope I'm right because I love those kind of murder mysteries. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's really not a lot to predict with this show. Because it's so weird and out there and there really isn't any kind of continuity. So you can't use what you've seen before to predict what's going to happen next. My big prediction is that they will incorporate another genre into it like they did last time. And my prediction is that that genre will be murder mysteries but not police procedural type murder mysteries. Like noir murder mysteries. Maybe not full on like film noir they already do the the voiceover thing but probably not like high contrast lighting or like visual shit i don't know that's that's what i'm thinking i really wish i had more interesting stuff to say i'm just gonna go ahead and start the episode oh and as always if you're watching my videos without watching the original content first you're doing the content a disservice and you're doing yourself a disservice if you really do want your first experience of Police Squad to involve me, then head over to my Patreon. For just $1, you can get access to my uncut reactions that you could play alongside the original content. Let's dive in. I love the guy on fire. Tonight's special guest star, Robert Goulet. Oh, wait. Have these all been real actors? And I mean, he's a singer, but you know, Robert Goulet is like a real person. Have all the guest stars been real people? I assume they were just made up names. Love that suit. Makes a real statement. Kingsley? Kingsley! Mind if I dance with my daughter? This song is awfully difficult to dance to. Let's get them to play something else. Could you play something different? Is this gonna be like the Happy dance? <laughs> oh okay, yeah, I was not expecting that. I was expecting them to go into a dance sequence like in Top Secret. Oh, that's a good one. The cake gave a little before it shot off, so it wasn't perfect timing, but still, that was fantastic. I love you, Terry. And I love you too, Kingsley. <laughs> oh my god. So it's a kidnapping. I was wrong. Oh. There had been a recent wave of murders at the city zoo. I was bringing in a suspect when I got a call from headquarters about the kidnapping of Terry Burton. Oh, it's a I monkey in a Burton suit. Mansion. Is this 808 Darbar Nippets Road? Maple Street? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> Captain Hawkins. Of course. But 808's the same, because upside down, that's the same. Well, nothing so far. Nobody's seen or heard anything. <laughs> They're all still having a party! Is there a ransom note? Yes, the butler found it. It was tied to this window and thrown into the rock garden. <laughs> I sent the note to the lab. <laughs> demanding one million dollars. Why would the lab demand a million dollars? The kidnappers made the demand, Frank. <laughs> that was a funny line. I missed it mind. almost because I was laughing at the... Rock garden joke. Lieutenant Drebin. Mr. Drebin. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> Why do ducks and geese... Fly south for the winter. Because it takes too long to walk. <laughs> Hello? Hello? That yeah. did it. It was a tough question. <laughs> Barbara, did you get the cap on the phone? Yes. Motherfucker. But the kidnapper was not long enough to get a trace. 
Oh, and this is Bert. I was wondering. What time did the first train leave? <laughs> Just relax. What is that for the top of the phone? I thought surely there's going to be a gag out of this, but I couldn't put it together. Just relax. Had a case like this similar. Kidnappers cut the victim's ear off and sent it to the family. <laughs> so you see, you've got to let us help you. Not the whole ear, of course, just a piece of it. <laughs> and when this whole thing blows over, we'll return Terry's ear if she's still alive. Speaking <laughs> it hard. Yeah. I love how callous they are. And keep an eye out for the ear. Yes, sir. <laughs> Every time they interrogate the family, it's like, seriously, it's like they're just so fucking callous. It's hilarious. Every time. Uh -huh. That's all I remember, honest. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's in the game now. <laughs> well, I understand you and Terry were going to get married. Just hadn't quite made up her mind yet, that's all. Well, it doesn't sound to me like you were very sure Terry was going to say yes. <laughs> Whose team is he on? You think I married Terry for her money? I didn't say that. <laughs> That reminds me of, uh, in the Naked Gun, when, uh, he has to pat down the baseball players during the game. We don't even have the spot for the ransom drop yet. <laughs> they threw a mime through the window. Day! Day! Thursday! 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 Thursday at the bus depot. At 10 o'clock. We win! We did it, Captain! This experiment will prove the Earth's gravity exerts the same pulling force on any object, no matter what size Why is he always talking to kids? Let me show you what I've done. The bowling ball weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> Your next door neighbor, Dr. Maurice Shanebaum, weighs 175 pounds. <laughs> Are you ready, Dr. Shanebaum? Why don't you run along now, Billy? And next week, we'll discuss 10 things you can do with a carrot. Great. Bye, Mr. Olson. This is going to be every episode, isn't it? Every time he goes and talks to this guy, there's going to be analyzing that someone who's about to be in danger. And I've a child. to isolate her voice. <laughs> the kind of sound you'd associate with the ocean. They come up with anything? No, nothing definite. Olson's oh, we can do the elevator gag again? Where Terry Burton is being held. But putting together a million dollars in small bills... That's a mean feat, Frank. Let me tell you something else. <laughs> the hoodlums who trade in this kind of terror really make my skin crawl. You think you're gonna arrest me, don't you? Well, you're not. Because I got the gun now. What the hell? And I'm gonna kill all of you, one by one. Nice what work, the Frank. fuck? Lakefront. My God, you know how big that area is? My daughter's a needle in a haystack. That's not true. I've seen a picture of her. She's very attractive. Maybe a little thin. But don't you worry. We've got everything under control. Time was running out for Terry. Ed and I drove around for hours for no particular reason. <laughs> we came up empty. <laughs> and what's the foghorn? Don't think foghorn. You still got that tape that Norberg gave you for Christmas? Yeah, it's in the glove compartment. <laughs> Lots of gloves. Because it's a glove compartment. Oh, my God. We're going to have to check every tuba rental sales and repair shop in town that's close to our filling station. It's going to be a mighty tall order, Frank. This city is the tuba capital of the world. I know, Ed. Find out what the word on the street is. Frankly, I think that's our only chance. <laughs> yes! This guy! Johnny, I need some information and I need it fast. It's called the Al Tupadero Club. It's near Fifth and National. Thanks, Johnny. Okay, what career are we getting today? Baseball player, all right. It's my pitching, Johnny. Do you think I need another starter? How should I know? Or is he a coach? The rigors of a full season on a four-man rotation are just too demanding. 
Here's the names of five Southpaws with career ERAs under 2.93. And you wouldn't have been in this mess if you hadn't given up Tommy John. Those scenes are getting longer. Like, every time they've done that joke, the fo <laughs> Fuck! He got the mailbox! Every time they did that joke, the follow-up was longer. They're running through the gunfire. Oh, that's fantastic. Cover me. That was a beautiful setup payoff. Tams! Why? Cause I needed the money. <laughs> right. Black and white it's is It's really not more complicated than that. I knew it wasn't gonna be a car, but I didn't know what to expect. The entire police squad was in on this one. Right. <laughs> They're arresting well, the monkey. It's been a good day. Looks like the butler Thames will be doing his serving from now on up in the Stateville prison. So the butler really did do it. Okay. Frank, when will people learn that crime doesn't pay? Well, I suppose if they do learn, we'll be out of a job. <gasps> oh, man. That monkey didn't get up until they froze, which means they must have trained it, like had a trainer who signaled to it, hey, now's the time you get up and start throwing shit around. So it's not just like the monkey decided to do that. That was like scripted. Like, hey, as soon as we all freeze, the monkey gets up and starts throwing shit around. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. So that was episode three of Police Squad. Uh, I was incorrect. It was not a mansion murder mystery. Um, but there was a dinner party of sorts, the birthday party at the beginning, but it was a kidnapping, not a murder. And, uh, most of the interrogations were typical police procedural interrogations, not like murder mystery interrogations. So what you going to do? But, uh, yeah, I thought it was a funny episode. Um, I do notice with this show that there's a lot more kind of dead air between the big laughs. And I don't know how much of that is because they were leaving space for the laughter and how much of that is tonally, in order to make the laughs punctuate, they uh, want more deadpan space. I'm, I'm really not sure. It, uh, it also could just be, you know, they can only afford or can only manage to write and create so many gags per episode and so they need to fill out that other time. Um, I don't know. I'm not clear on that. But, uh, something I thought they did really well in their later work was finding that balance of how long do we keep it deadpan and then when do we punctuate? And normally, they really, they really nailed the formula later on. Like, especially, I know I keep coming back to Top Secret, but all the deadpan stuff in Top Secret is like a slow burn that builds to a punctuation, um, with a big laugh. And it's not always quite that way in this. Sometimes the deadpan is just the joke. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, again, this comedy is 38 years old and it's still making me laugh. The fact that I'm laughing at all at this show is kind of incredible. When you think about the number of jokes they've made that have been parroted since then. And the number of gags they've done that other people have, you know, built upon and, and done. And, uh... The fact that they didn't have the special effects we have today, so everything had to be practical. Um, yeah, they, they're doing fantastic stuff given their limitations. And I, I fully understand 
why after doing this show, they were able to be like, yo, let's make this into a movie and get a real budget in here and make, you know, this type of humor, but in a movie format. Um, I mean, obviously, they'd already done Airplane, which was the real trial run for this whole thing. But uh, specifically the cop show aspect of it. I wonder which had a bigger... Bu- Hang on, I'm going to look this up. Okay, this is not what I was looking for. I was looking for the budgets on these different things. But according to Wikipedia, the reason that Police Squad got canceled was, quote, the viewer had to watch it in order to appreciate it. Meaning that the viewer had to pay very close attention to the show and uh, because the humor is often subtle... And it's like, you know, slow burn humor. And uh, according to Wikipedia, TV Guide magazine called the explanation the most stupid reason a network ever gave for ending a series. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm not seeing anything about the budget of Police Squad, though. But I did find, according to Google, at least, which we know is notoriously trustworthy... Uh, the budget of Airplane was $3.5 million, and The Naked Gun had a $12 million budget. So, yeah, they definitely stepped up between between those two in terms of uh, production value. Not that Airplane's production value was bad at all. I mean, they did some crazy shit in Airplane. I also keep forgetting that Airplane also has an exclamation point at the end of the title, like Police Squad. So, there you go. Yeah, so thinking about this episode specifically, every episode has a couple of just fantastic jokes. I think the funniest joke in this episode might have been when they said they tied the letter to this window and threw it in the rock garden. That that shit killed me. Um, yeah, it, it, th- there were a couple really funny ones. The black and white turning out to be a zebra, that, that was funny. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like every episode gets a couple big laughs from me, and then a lot of, like, smiles and internal laughs. It's, uh, what's the Bo Burnham line? If you watch this alone, then maybe you didn't laugh, but a few times you exhaled out of your nose. That's what it feels like sometimes watching the show, where it's like, no, trust me, I am enjoying it, I do think it's funny, even if I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing on the inside, and not in the condescending way you say to people, or the sarcastic fuck you way to, you say to people, but, like, the real... No, no, no. It's funny, and I appreciate that it's funny. I'm just not laughing out loud. Um, but I really am enjoying it. It's It's got such a specific vibe, and I think they're doing a fantastic job of nailing that vibe. Um, I have no predictions moving forward, as always. So, I guess that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, come back next week and we'll check out another episode of Police Squad. And if you can't wait that long, then subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the uh, description below. You can get episodes up to four weeks early there, in addition to uncut versions of the episodes. And as always, please like and subscribe, because I'd love to have you all coming back on the regular.